Welcome to another class for A-level media studies and where we will be talking about media regulations. Um, let's move on. In the last class, we did uh, discuss uh, various aspects of media studies through a PowerPoint presentation. Today we are going to carry on and we're gonna further research about this thing. So contemporary means recent, nowadays media regulations. The aim of this fact sheet or handout is to explain the ways media regulators, Ofcom and ASA and PCC, Press Complaint Commission work, discuss difference between statutory and voluntary regulation, which we already discussed last time, and compare the effectiveness of these regulators. Regulators ki baat kare to humne last time usko thoroughly explore kiya hua hai. These are the regulators, jo ke uh, written mein khas toh pe UK mein. Uh, regulations to look after them. Most of them are uh, uh, voluntary, self-regulatory bodies. They are not enforced by government. They are, they are made by the organization themselves. So uh, we're gonna dig deep further. So what is regulation actually? With few industries have uh, leave the organizations or companies who operate in, the, in that sector to their own devices. Systems of regulation are required to provide regulations and rules to ensure that organizations operate fairly. So for fairness, they have a group. We have talked about this already, by the way. In the media industry, there are several regulatory bodies that exist to monitor the way that their industries work, broadcast, media, TV, and radio are regulated by Ofcom. We last time about the Office of Communication. Every kind of broadcast, Chahe wo, uh, television ke through ho raha hai, radio ke through ho raha hai. So in other words, sare channels jo hai, wo in ke under aate hai. Channels ki violations or channels se related complaints jo hai, wo is ke under aate hai. Uh, well, and the uh, advertising industry is regulated by the ASA, Advertising Standards Authority. Hamne already spoke about kiu hai. Newspapers are currently regulated by IPSO. We already talked about it. Pehle ye PCC ke naam se famous thi, ab usko IPSO bolte hai. And uh, well, we have talked about it. Which Baki is not going to replace the PCC. We have already talked about it. Moving down, uh, regulators also provide somebody for audience to audiences to complain to if they see something they don't like. If you are offended by a TV show, feel that an advert is making claims uh, or maybe false claims or that are not realistic. Or a newspaper has invaded your privacy. The regulator is somebody you can turn to take up and do your complaint. However, how effectively different regulators are in carrying out these functions is a source of constant debate. I mean, how many more effectively they are playing role play kare, ye regulators and uh, uh, public ko support kare, unki privacy and privacy etc. And the same with content. Ke se. Ye debate. Hai. Uh, you know, uh, nobody ever gets satisfied. Yeah, improvement area That is why debate ready. Regulators must provide a set of tough consequences for media organizations that break the rules, but they do not need to balance, do also need to balance the interest of media producers and product freedom of expression. Dono chizo ka saath leke chalna hai. Ke log bhi offend na ho, media bilkul bhi bhe lagam na ho jai, unko bilkul control ho na chahiye. Lekin unko itna bhi curb nahi karna ki freedom of expression nahi khatam ho jai, toh balance lana like na, toh zururi hota hai. Matab compromise hamisha karna pakta hai, give and take hota hai. So you need to make, uh, uh, exam hint kya hai, you need to make sure you are up to date with current media issues throughout your studies. At least it will do saal ya ek saal to hai, going on hai. Is mein kya media issues hote hai, UK mein, Britain mein, you should be up to date. I will also try to keep sharing with you, just as I have probably shared it with you, Meghan Markle, the uh, uh, Duchess of uh, uh, UK, uh, Queen Elizabeth's uh, family, uh, that was related to issues that we have talked about. So, uh, we will talk about it as well. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, let me get back to you. Today. So why, uh, I'm back, why is regulation needed? In other words, 
1984 video nasties scare provides an interesting case study for what can happen without regulation vcrs ka daur tha jo logon ko ye enable kare the ki wo apne ghar pe hi kisi broadcast ko record kar sakte the kyunki ye chal raha hai aur uske baad pre recorded ko tapes ko aage you know publish kar sakte the friends mein distribute kar sakte the agar license hai to wo usko aage sell kar sakte the lease kar sakte the rent kar sakte so it was from around 1975 that the machines became cheap and effective enough to gain mass popularity and by the early 1980s a sizable industry has grown up supplying tapes yani jo film tapes hoti thi of movies that people could rent to watch at home ye aapke parents ko ya dad ko pata hoga however as the technology was new there was no laws to govern how the video rental market should work consequently it was perfectly legal for a 5 year old child to rent explicit horror film such as cannibal holocaust or the evil dead after a widespread public outcry uh, the government passed the video recording act of 1984 which introduced regulations to the video market for the first time cinema style classification certificates were introduced preventing young people from obtaining material that was unsuitable so this is all about that this is why uh, it it got into public limelight due to those violations the evil dead was one of the most famous film associated with the video nasty controversy you can uh, further read about the video nasty panic in fact sheets or on online it can easily be available you can see it's quite famous you know news what does it do ofcom ka actual kaam kya hai office of communication jo humne kaha ki broadcast hai wo radio hai chahe tv hai usko wo look after karti hai to iska kya hai the office of communication is responsible for regulating tv radio telephone services and some aspects of the internet although the areas most relevant to media students are tv and radio there are some areas that are not responsibility of ofcom such as tv advertising which is regulated by regulatory bodies uh just just hold on guys i need to in pause this video Ah, uh, sorry. I am. I am back. I was into something actually. So, ah, uh, similarly, Ofcom, such as TV advertising, such as which is regulated by advertisement, the uh, Advertising Standards Authority, and जो हमने already बात की थी जो on-demand services हैं, just like Netflix या subscription-based services हैं, Netflix, Hulu या Amazon Prime, ये ATV और DVD देखता है. हम इसको already बात कर चुके तो उसी base पे जो मैंने आपको last time handout share किया था. अब हम फर्दर डिग डीप कर रहे हैं फर्दर एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं फर्दर कॉन्फिडेंस ले रहे हैं बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशन अब जब आप ब्रिटेन के केस स्टडीज को रिसर्च करोगे उसको एक्सप्लोर करोगे आपको जब इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस का नाम आएगा नजर ए टी का ऑफ कॉम का इस तरह की चीजों का तो वो आपके लिए सरप्राइजिंग नहीं होगा यू वुड नो अच्छा कैसे ये काम कर रही है सो इट वॉन्ट बी इट विल बी रादर मोर कम्फर्टेबल फॉर यू टू एक्सप्लोर दैम ऑफ कॉम इज रिजनेबली Uh, is responsible for granting license to tv and radio stations and it is illegal to broadcast tv or radio signals without a license from ofcom acha ofcom jo hai ye self regulatory body nahi hai is pe bhi hum pehle baat kar chuke hain ye voluntary nahi hai ye compulsory hai ye government ka idara hai theek hai aur ye licensing wagaira sab kuch karta hai to in other words violation ke case mein ye uh, license ko minimize bhi kar sakta hai और कैंसिल भी करते हैं मिनिमाइज से मुराद ये लिमिट कर देना कितने इयर्स का लाइसेंस आपको लिमिट कर देना ये कि थ्रू आउट द डे कितने आवर्स ये इस चैनल या रेडियो या टीवी को परमिशन है टू गो ऑन एयर उसको भी लिमिट किया जा सकता है एज अ पेनल्टी एज अ फाइन ऑब्वियसली पहले वार्निंग होती है उसके बाद वेल बिफोर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डिजिटल ब्रॉडकास्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इट इज इट वाज ओनली पॉसिबल टू हैव अ 4 टू 5 टीवी स्टेशंस ब्रॉडकास्टिंग एट द सेम टाइम 
जब केबल और सेटेलाइट और डिश का तब टाइम नहीं था तब की बात है a similar situation applied for radio stations too for this reason a system of licenses was developed to ensure that the number of channel stations was limited to ensure all the signals could be picked up clearly it also allows for some to agar exam mein kabhi koi aisa question aata hai background mein jaate ho to aap thoda sa background de sakte ho ki iska purpose kya tha lekin you have to be as brief as possible because i told you as per the new syllabus uh unhone timing jo hai uh, uh, requirement for marks it has changed and that's just 15 marks 15 marks ka matlab ye hai ki you have to be brief and you have to reach by till you can say maximum two pages two pages would be of quality content would be more than enough that is why well so we were here it is also allows for some controls to be placed on quality and impartiality in the past uh, when there were only a handful of tv stations it was important that tv news and current affairs was balanced and not biased towards a particular political party as alternative views would have difficult difficulty being heard ye bhi uh, is ofcom ki responsibility thi license ka part hota tha ofcom is an example of statutory regulation means this is compulsory and backed by the force of law uh, yani ke statute uh state you can say and broadcasters can be punished for breaking them including being stripped of their license in particularly serious cases or having to pay a fine ofcom also handles complaints about programs content through the broadcasting code the code applies to tv and radio program in the new uk and lays out rules about the kind of content this is that is acceptable for broadcasters to include the court has nine sections and covers areas such as offensiveness impartiality protecting children the most well known element of the code is the watershed watershed ke bare mein bhi aapko main bataunga uh ye ek uh, time hota hai uh matlab you can say that abhi hum dekh lete hain watershed only applies to tv and occurs uh at 9 pm it means that the material that is unsuitable for children should not be shown before 9 pm uh 9 pm ke time ko 9 to 5 30 in the morning is this time ko watershed bolte hain aur is duran ab uh jo hai thodi si offensive or uh, extreme uh, violence or horror film laga sakte ho parents ko bhi pata hota hai wo tv ko switch off kar dete the uh something like that actually तो यार नॉट फॉर किड्स और बच्चों के लिए टाइम जो है वो फाइव थर्टी एम से लेकर रात नौ बजे तक था और इस दौरान कोई चैनल जो था वो प्रोहिबिटेड कॉन्टेंट विच इज नॉट सूटेबल फॉर किड्स वो नहीं लगा सकता था अब हम थोड़ा सा आइडिया आपको बैकग्राउंड बताना चाहिए ऑफ कॉम के जो सेक्शन हैं ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कोड के लिए वो क्या है दे आर नाइन सेक्शन सेक्शन वन जो है वो प्रोटेक्टिंग द अंडर एटीन को देखता है सेक्शन टू हार्म एंड अफेंस को देखता है देन क्राइम देन रिलीजन इम्पार्शलिटी एंड अनडू प्रोमिनेंस ऑफ व्यूज एंड ऑप्शन सेक्शन फाइव देखता है सेक्शन थ्री इलेक्शन एंड रेफरेंडम्स को डील करता है सेक्शन सेवन फेयरनेस को डील करता है एंड सेक्शन एट प्राइवेसी अगर किसी चैनल ने या किसी न्यूज पेपर ने बुक किसी रेडियो ने नॉट न्यूज पेपर वो तो आई पी एस ओ में आएगा माई बैड लेकिन अगर किसी रेडियो ने किसी की प्राइवेसी इन्फ्रेंच किया किसी को हरास किया थ्रू न्यूज और एनी ब्लैक मेलिंग काइंड ऑफ थिंग डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली तो सेक्शन एट जो है उसके थ्रू उस स्टेशन को पीनलाइज किया जा सकता है फाइन या उनका लाइसेंस भी कैंसिल हो सकता है फिर कमर्शियल रेफरेंस इन टी वी प्रोग्राम्स ये सेक्शन नाइन डील करता है यूजिंग द ऑफ कॉम वेबसाइट फाइन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ कम्प्लेन दैट वॉज मेड अबाउट अ टी वी चैनल और प्रोग्राम इन रिलेशन टू ईच सेक्शन ऑफ द कोड ये अब आप ये आपके लिए एक्टिविटी है आप कर सकते हो इससे आपको और आइडिया हो जाएगा और आपको ज्यादा बेहतर पता चल जाएगा कि अच्छा क्या क्या चल रहा है और वॉज द कम्प्लेन अनहेल्प और सॉरी अनहेल्प वट रीजन वर गिवन टू वट एक्सटेंड वॉज कैजनिंग फैक्टर इन द डिसीजन and what punishment was given if any ye sari cheeze aap explore kar sakte ho now we are going to explore about an a case study that was uh, regarding that is regarding channel 4 uh jo ke ek company hai ek channel hai jo ke britain mein uh, hai aur uh, it is governed and obviously regulated by ofcom as per the law in 2012 
Channel 4 showed the X-Men film Wolverine at 6.55 on a Sunday evening. Following a complaint from a viewer, Ofcom judged the film contained six instances, six times violence tha, jo ke bachon ke liye, uh, unsuitable tha. And therefore the broadcaster had been wrong to show the film before the water the watershed. Right before the watershed, jo hai, uh, because watershed to no baje shuru na, so usse pehle is suitable tha nahi. The fact that the family-friendly films such as Ice Age, The Meltdown, and Golden Compass had been shown in a similar time slot previously, to parents thought that this is a safe time for children, and which could have led uh, viewers to assume a film screened at this time would be suitable for a family audience. Although Channel 4 had broadcasted a warning at the start of the film that the film contained violent scenes, violent scenes, just in Netflix, we have to go on a helicopter, kissing the season capital, chip, like his me, uh, substance, uh, substance mean drugs, uh, is me, who is good enough as a suicidal thoughts, like Hunger, so Uskebara, maybe a hoga, a gross me, who in nudity, a to sexuality, a to wobi, but a dinge, like in kya ye enough hai, ye question hai, Jessica Ussik scenario me wata, carry it as a debate hai, or how to cope and how to protect somebody's culture, culture to culture, very katana. So that is why. So uh, this is how family audience is that this is a suitable time. Hai. Although Channel 4 has given a warning about violent scenes. Mein warning thi. Of course, judge that the wording of this warning did not make the nature of the scenes contained in the film very clear. Also, although the film had been substantially edited from the 12 edited cinema version, yani ke, uh, itne edits kiye, itne cuts lagaye, uh, BBFC ke rules ke accordingly, uh, jo ke cinema or films ko dekhta hai, 27 edits karne ke baad usko less violent kiya gaya, aur 12A rating usko mil gai, thik hai? But what if, agar, uh, bauh chota bachcha dekhta hai, thik hai, 12A mein wase sab bachche fall karte hai, but still, that's why, uh, Channel 4 ne, uh, sorry, Ofcom ne ye find out kiya, ke wo still insufficient tha, Still not made the film suitable for any early evening time slot. In this case, Ofcom judged that Channel 4 was in breach of Section 1.3 of the Broadcasting Code. A uh, 1.3 जो है वो under 18 Section 1 है ना तो उसके अंदर सब sections होंगे. तो since हम कोई uh, mass com नहीं पढ़े यहाँ पे इसलिए मैंने आपको उसके सब sections नहीं बताए लेकिन आपको idea दे दिया है. Well, so what uh, exactly happened then? In March 2014, दो बातें. एक uh, in 2012 में हुआ था. 2014, mm. Channel 4 was granted an another 10-year license to continue broadcasting. However, as a condition of the license, Ofcom is insisting that that was insisting that the channel must produce 9% of its programs in Wales. Achha, ye a case study hai, theek hai? The, jo, the, the scene tha pichle ka, uh, will be held on Channel 4 compliance record and repeated breaches of code could lead to a fine or shortening of the broadcasting license. Ye unko na fine kar di or warning de di. And because it was suitable for 12 years for the kids, it license for the film. Ko. Although, it was also given to Ofcom a warning. After that, the second case is in March 2014, when the license was renewed, it was given to us, but there further conditions. It was also given to all of them, but it was also given to all of them. Because it was UK, so in the United Kingdom, you know, uh, Scotland bhi aata hai, Ireland bhi aata hai, Wales bhi aata hai, theek hai, aur England to aata hai hai. So these are United Kingdom. Uh, well, United Kingdom mein waise Ireland nahi aata, lekin Northern Ireland jo hai, uh, wahan pe kyunke broadcast signals jate hai, wahan pe viewership hai. That is why unhane uske, usko bhi, uh, uske regular log viewership thi. That is why unko bhi unhane include kar diya, ki aapne, 9% programs jo hai na, wo aapne Wales, Scotland and other Ireland mein banane hai, as increased from 3% previously. Aapne notice kiya hoga, uh, local television dekhe, PTV, to mukhtali PTV stations hai, Karachi ka hai, Lahore ka hai, Peshawar ka hai, Balochistan ka hai, Gilgit ya, uh, Wahan ka hai, uh, Kashmir ka bhi hai. Kiyo hai ye? Because ye uh, worldwide unhane law regulations ko dekhe apne laws banane hai, ki har ilake ki representation honi chahi hai. And this purpose is that 3% and 9% of the 
Ofcom felt that this was desirable to increase the representation of people outside of England on TV, ensuring Channel 4 better reflects the lives and cultures of people throughout the UK. This kind of condition is common in broadcasting licenses and broadcast broadcasters can be required to transmit a certain amount of content in particular genres as such as current affairs or religion programs to ensure all audiences are well served. Similarly, a big deal. PTV is a great example because national TV is what they are following. You will see that religious programs are also available. Uh, current affairs ke program bhi hote hain, bachcho ke bhi hote hain program, sports ke bhi hote hain, so different segments, different days pe different cheeze play hoti hain. Wo because ye world mein rules ko wo follow kar rahe hain. Humare jo uh, news channel hai, jo sirf news channel ke taur pe register hoye hain, wo bound nahi hai har tarah ka play karne ke liye. Phir wo bhi thoda bhot karte hain. Jo standard channels hai, un sab ko ye hai ke wo har tarah ke content ko logon ke liye dikhayenge. हमारे यहाँ पे स्पेसिफिक चैनल्स हैं, कुकिंग चैनल्स भी हैं, न्यूज़ चैनल्स भी हैं, ड्रामा एंड एंटरटेनमेंट चैनल्स भी हैं, सो एंड स्पोर्ट्स चैनल्स भी हैं, सो वी वी हैव स्पेसिफिक चैनल्स। अच्छा, अब एक और एक्टिविटी आप लोगों के लिए कैन कंडक्ट सम रिसर्च इनटू द कंडीशन programs they have to produce. Do you agree that it is right that TV companies or television companies should be obliged to produce certain kinds of programs? Yeh sara kuch aapne research karna hai. So, mein aapko baat mein whether it's an assignment or not, mein aapko koji jay baal Google Classroom pe upload bhi kar dunga. So, what did it do? Achha, yahan tak toh humne dekh liya ke Ofcom kya karta hai? We talked about Ofcom quite uh, thoroughly. In the next lesson, we will further talk about PCC or Press Complaint Commission working karta. I'm trying to make this lesson less boring and uh, uh, more specific. Or meanwhile, uh, I'm already share I'm going to upload these things on Google Classroom as well. Or uh, uh, now you should start going through an assignment you have to share with on the Google Classroom and your uh, attendance ke bhi marks honge. I mean attendance of assignment yani aap assignment kitni kar rahe ho aur aapka monthly grade usi se reflect hoga jo baad mein aapka annual uh, CIS ka grade ban sakta hai ya agar pandemic over ho jata hai inshallah to aapko pata hai ki media series mein 50% weightage course work kiya hai aur uske aap sara control teacher ke paas hota hai so in that case you should be extremely cautious and careful about your assignments and meeting your deadlines uh well i think it's time to say goodbye to you people thoroughly paro ki problem hoti hai to you can always uh send me a message on google classroom or even in the whatsapp group so see you next time take care allah